yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, America faced a serious threat. Japan had laid waste to much of the Navy's Pacific fleet, and its ambitions in the Pacific and the Far East posed a serious threat to world stability. America would have to take the fight to the Japanese mainland, transversing vast expanses in the Pacific in order to do so. America would not only have to prepare for an invasion of Japanese-held territory, but would also have to prepare for invasions on the European continent against Hitler's Germany. This would not be an easy task. However, the civilized world depended on its success. Recognizing the need for skilled workers to build advanced bases in active theaters of war, the Navy approved the creation of construction battalions under the capable leadership of Admiral Ben Morrell, the Navy's senior civil engineer corps officer. These officers and enlisted men who had little or no military training would become part of the greatest construction force the world has ever seen. The men of these construction battalions or CVs would not only build, but would learn how to fight and ultimately help win the war. Since 1942, the CVs have played a major role in supporting the U.S. Navy throughout the world. They are often at the tip of the spear during times of war and the first to arrive with humanitarian aid and support in times of crisis. In 2017, the CVs will celebrate their diamond anniversary, 75 years of can-do service in times of war and peace. In addition, the Navy Civil Engineer Corps will be celebrating 150 years of engineering excellence this milestone provides a unique opportunity to raise public awareness of CB heritage and to honor CB veterans and active duty personnel. Today, there are places that seek to honor them. The official U.S. Navy CB Museum in Port Wanimi, California is one of them. It's a destination for everyone to learn and better understand the CB's role in U.S. history. However, much remains to be done to improve and expand the exhibits to tell the full CB story. The CEC CB Historical Foundation is dedicated to keeping the accomplishments of the CBs in the minds of Americans. The foundation has launched a diamond anniversary campaign celebrating 75 years of ingenuity at work to commemorate CB history through four initiatives. The first is to honor veterans of all eras by showcasing the accomplishments of CB's past and present all over the world. The second is to educate a wider audience through the Navy, our affinity partners, and through social media, the importance of CB's contributions at home and abroad. The third is to inspire the youth of today with examples of CB can-do ingenuity to enter future careers associated with STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM will be critical to America's future if it is to remain a leader in the engineering sciences, and CBs use STEM on a daily basis. And the fourth is to improve the U.S. Navy CB Museum in Port Wanimi by providing new interactive exhibits that will showcase the contributions the CBs have made through their construction and humanitarian relief efforts. For these goals to be accomplished, the CB Historical Foundation needs your help in meeting a $10 million fundraising goal to expand and improve exhibits in the Grand Hall and the World War II Gallery. Additional funds raised will support three other exhibit areas. We Build, We Fight, showcasing the CB's contributions since World War II. We Lead, We Deliver, highlighting the accomplishments of the CEC in planning, designing, building, operating, and maintaining the Navy's shore facilities. And We Help, We Care, featuring the contributions CBs have made to building a better world through their humanitarian efforts. Your support will go a long way in honoring CBs who served at places like Incheon in Korea and other far off places throughout the world. Your support will also honor Congressional Medal of Honor recipient Marvin Shields, who represents the dedication 
and ultimate sacrifice many Seabees offered our nation in Vietnam. A place of honor will be provided to the memory of CB Robert Dean Steedham, who refused to back down in the face of terror, a modern-day source of inspiration in our country's fight against terrorism, both at home and abroad. A CB once said, with willing hearts and skillful hands, the difficult we do at once, the impossible takes a bit longer. Now's the time to play your part in supporting America's Seabees. For more information on how you can help to honor the CBs during their diamond anniversary, please visit cb75.org or contact the CB Historical Foundation today.